Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of British vs. American vs. Australia. Australia! Australia! We're getting in some Australian representation. Where in Australia are you from, James? I'm from Perth in Western Australia. You're from Ascot, you're from Perth, I'm from New Jersey. All weird places, I suppose. So today we wanted to talk about interesting cultural differences between traveling between the countries. Because Americans are known for not traveling as much as most other countries. But maybe, maybe it's not so bad compared to Australia. So what percentage of Americans do you think own a passport, like in the last five years? Like how many do you think own a passport? Like, oh, I'd say like maybe like sixty percent. Sixty percent. Fifty-five. Okay, it has increased from two thousand four, but it's not that high. It's thirty-eight oh. percent. So, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's I'm it's, however, in two thousand four, the number was twenty-one percent. So, like ten, about ten, that's fourteen years ago. Like. Yeah, it's almost doubled. But like back in the day, that's why people bullied Americans because like one in a, out of five had a passport. Oh, that was why they bullied Americans. Okay. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I've had a look at this for Australia, and I've, I've seen a bunch of different numbers that generally, they range between 50 and 70%. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's only a little bit more. I guess that's fine. Uh, yeah. For Britain, it's like 76%. Okay. So That's a lot. We travel a lot. Yeah, almost yeah. double, I guess. That's yeah. Actually, 38 times 2 is 76, so um, that's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> rad. Yeah. Math. Oh, by the way, I never introduced your name. I went, this is James from Perth, and you're a uh, Ascot, so... Uh, and where are you uh, from? I'm Ascot. Where are you from, Ascot? <laughs> <laughs> this is Noah, by the way. If Hi. you didn't know uh, him yet. Right. <laughs> How many times have you heard that? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Anyway, so out of curiosity, what are the top, like, places that Australians travel to when they travel? Like Australians. Uh, West Australians in particular, because I, I lived... In Western Australia. Okay, because I'm just going to guess New Zealand and Bali. and New like Zealand is the number one. Okay. New Zealand is like the stock standard number Fair. one. The other ones, which are more like tropical places, I guess. Uh, Bali. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phuket, which is an island in Thailand. Phuket. 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 I didn't know it wasn't Phuket. Phuket. That's okay. Phuket. <laughs> when I looked it up, most Americans do just travel to America. Like, that's our number one favorite place. Mm -hmm. Just visit, do road trips and things. But also, what do you think the number one country is from America? Um, oh, I guess like Mexico, maybe. Canada. Oh, Canada, Americans yeah. Don't it's, like it Mexico. is actually Mexico. What? What? Mexico. Mexico, despite all the negative fervor yeah. with the right-leaning media. Yeah. Turns out, uh, no, they really like, like Cancun and vacation spots yeah. in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, so it's the number one destination by far. Canada coming in second. And then, very far along the lines in third, England. So, mostly just London. Yeah. Except for yeah. those new people that were trying to get to Gatwick but ended up in Doncaster. So <laughs> Doncaster is now a big tourism down. destination. Yeah. <laughs> Americans like to visit those tick box things, such yeah, as like, yeah. oh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben. I didn't know that was a cultural thing. I know that like when I was visiting uh, Italy with some friends, I was like, what are we gonna do? And they were like, we're gonna do visit this market and that. And I went, I don't know what that is. You gotta hit the major. Like, I, yeah, I was like, I need to hit the one so I can post, you know, yeah, and yeah, be yeah. like, hey friends, I visited this landmark. If there's a country that has no landmark, I'm like, I don't wanna go there. That's kind of similar to you Australia know? because. Australia is so far away from everything, like, it's so far away from Europe and America that yeah, generally when Australians mm. travel out that way, they'll do everything in, like, one trip. They'll either go on, like, an American trip, and they'll go to, like, every state and go to all, like, the major landmarks, or they'll do Europe, which a lot, which is really everywhere popular. Everywhere in Europe. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they'll go everywhere in Australians Europe. Australians love like, Europe. They'll do Berlin, they'll do France, they'll do, you know, I think Spain. British people just go, to on, go on holiday to get time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they go to that's Ibiza. Exactly. That's yeah. why I just keep going to Ibiza. <laughs> like, like, it's we're so close to everything here. Yeah, you just like yeah, it's well, very the, cheap. You get on a train to Amsterdam. The top destinations <laughs> are in Europe. So All of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty that much. makes sense. I mean, There's Florida in there, but that's it. But that's really far down. That's also mm. one of the top destinations for the U.S. Yeah. it's New York and then Florida and then Texas and California. Texas. Uh, yeah, that, I was surprised by Texas being in there as well because like it is one of the biggest states. Yeah, British people like traveling a lot and so do Australians, but Americans don't really have that much working holiday compared to the other two countries. So, like, when you have a job, right. the average American worker gets a certain number of paid holiday per year. How many do you think that is, Noah? I like that it's a quiz element in this episode. Of, uh, do you know how many British people get? Yeah. How many is that? 28 days. 28, okay, 28 days, okay. Really? Yeah. That's the average as well, because, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess lower, because I know Australia's lower. Australia gets about 20. Okay. So it's about three weeks, roughly. Um, I'm gonna guess, oh, I don't know. Well, I think it'd be a bit lower, but I don't know how low to go. I guess like two weeks, maybe like 14 days. 14 days. Um, well, the am average American worker, after working for one full year, then gets 10 days paid holiday. 10? You're joking. After working for a year. That so is, not that, just a week and a half. <laughs> yes. And if you work for a full five years, you can get up to 15 days. And then, after f 10 years, you can get 20. Five years? Yes. I spent like 12, yes. twice that amount this yes. year in yeah. bed. <laughs> Not on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so I worked at like a pizza place for five years and got zero days paid holiday. 
because it was part-time. They made me work 30 hours a week, so I wouldn't get a holiday. Because after you do 35, you legally have to. So they're like, oh, just 30, keep them there. So I didn't get, have any paid holiday for five years. I then moved to England and worked at Urban Outfitters for three months, and they were like, okay, so there's 23 days paid 23 holiday. Days and I went, holiday. I was like, what? what for a, <laughs> do you know I'm working part-time for a minimum wage job, only 20 hours a week? And they were like, yes. yes. And I was like, what? I thought 28 days was like nothing. That's horrific. No. That's, no, that's, that is so much. I have a friend that works for a really big company that's based in the US, but they have offices all around the world. And when he originally got hired in London, he got, you know, 28 days paid holiday, which is great. Yeah. And then he transferred to the US where they took away half of those days. <laughs> Even though it's the same company, they were like, well, no, you don't get grandfathered into that. The US only expects us to pay this amount of great days. So even though it's the same company, they still stick with the US standards. What? It's crazy. He lost half of his paid holidays. It's very sad. And America sucks. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think the issue is that the workers don't really fight for their rights as much anymore because they're getting yeah. complacent. You gotta that's work for your so money. Bad. It is sad, but that's why Americans don't travel as much because we're, we're working. So that, make, that makes sense as to, <laughs> yeah. as to why they have less passports. I, there's a, there is another country. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can't get the, Oh, that's so sad. I know there's another country in Europe. If you're from this country in the comments, please tell me. They pay their workers to go on holiday? I think it might be Germany. I don't, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure like that certain like companies like will Sweden. literally pay you. Sounds to like a Sweden leave. thing. It does sound like a Sweden thing. thing. Like, come on, go have fun. Yeah. Go, on, go have fun. Let's do it. And the US are like, ooh, if you go on holiday, Jim's been looking for a promotion, <laughs> not you. So, <laughs> it, 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 like, my mom doesn't have a passport. Has never left the US. You kind of stay in the US to travel. So, like, as I'm from Jersey, we would just find cool things to do in that area. The furthest I'd ever gone is Florida. We went to Disney World twice because everyone goes to Disney World. But besides that. It's literally just between two states. In those mountains in Pennsylvania, a little national park, maybe a the Hershey Park, New York City maybe. Hershey Park is just a theme park based on Hershey's. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna say like a chocolate factory, but maybe It not. is a chocolate factory, <laughs> oh, nice. but with roller coasters. Oh shit. You, you roller coaster and there's like, instead of Mickey, there's a giant inflatable like Hershey bar. <laughs> it's an inflatable chocolate bar. Yeah, and you get to like shake his hand and hug him. Okay, chocolate. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so we had, we had good holidays despite only staying in the U.S. And my mom had literally said to me when I was complaining about her never visiting, she was like, mm -hmm. "Why would I leave the U.S.? There's so many things you can see within the U.S." And I was like, "That is very sad. That's very sad." But it's also so big. It's kind of like Australia. It is big. It's, Australia it's... is so big that you can just go on yeah. so many holidays within the country. That's what I did mostly as a kid. We just went like mainly stayed in Western Australia because that in itself is massive. We yeah. went to like oh. Bustleton or Augusta or like Margaret River or, something. or like Coral Bay is beautiful. Um, but there's also like over, a paradise. over east, there's Surface Paradise, there's Gold Coast, oh. um, Sunshine Coast, Bondi, Sydney. Yeah, just places. keep naming lovely Melbourne. I like Melbourne. You guys really visit Britain much in Britain? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you guys do. You like the, the beach. <laughs> I mean, to the beach. Yeah. No, there's no <laughs> beach. Oh, yeah, Brighton, Little Rock. Yeah, Brighton. Beach. Brighton's one of the top destinations. I mean, people always talk about the Lake District, and you know that's a place mm. British people like going. Big puddles. That's all it is. Then what did you do for holiday, Noah? We went to Europe. Okay. <laughs> travel outside. We didn't stay in Because you could get on a train and go to another country. Yeah. yeah. It's like so incredibly cheap to get a flight to like Amsterdam. It's like 30 pounds return. Yeah. Which is Sometimes it's cheaper to travel to like European, other European countries yes. than to travel within. It is. Yeah. The trains are so expensive in the UK that it's so, so cheap to visit Europe. Like, like I said, you can go 30 pounds to Amsterdam or spend 100 pounds to get to Scotland. So it's kind of like. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what to do. Well, like, it's kind of similar in the US a bit in that, like, no one uses trains. I don't know anyone that's ever used a train. We all have cars. That's kind of a big part of our culture. So we'll just drive up to New York City. Or, or my parents drove to Florida for that trip once, and it was like a 20 hour drive. But, you know, we just drive. We like driving. It saves yeah. money, and it, it, why not? As opposed to the trains. You know. I don't know how to drive. I just get the train and I'm, I still get I, child tickets. Trains are phenomenal in <laughs> Europe. Child tickets? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get child tickets. He's committing a crime. Yeah. If you if you want to go like across the country to like mm -hmm. the, the East Coast or like if you're going west. Then you'd get a plane. You'd get a plane. plane. Yeah. Because there's so much, like to the middle of Australia, it's just, it's just that nothing. desert, right? Yeah. There's nothing. You have to drive so far. and People just, die trying to get know. across as well, don't they? Yeah, so you, don't mess what? with the outback. The outback, it's just a giant because desert. It's so People big, die. And you have to drive for like two days continuously without. If your car breaks anything. down, like, you're. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not going to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Culturally, a lot of Americans don't trust any tap water outside the US. I guess just just what we're that taught. That seems like an American thing. But yeah. like, there's people that will go to France and be like, ah, I need to have a bottle of water, you know. And the only people that do that here are like the ones that are like posh twats. Posh, posh twats. twats. Yeah, like, I okay. won't drink from a. But seat. Americans are posh twats. <laughs> yeah. They just you know think that Where's everywhere else is dirty. Yeah. Where's, Where's my, my boss? boss? Where's my boss water? I know how Americans are when they're traveling because like. There's a reputation for us to be overly cheery, talking to anyone that wants to talk to us, and also being very proud of the fact that we're American and it's much better than this place we are, which is a bit rude. Mm. But that seems to be a popular stereotype. Australians that I've traveled with, 
mostly party every single time. I feel like Australians, especially when they travel around like the Indonesia, Asia area, mm -hmm. they're like, they go wild, especially Bali. They like- Yeah, there's they, some people I follow on Instagram mental. that literally went to like Bali this week and it was just like raving every raving. single night. Sometimes and they can be like really disrespectful as well. Um, I feel like Australians who travel from Australia around Europe mm -hmm. can be like, some are usually like the posher Australians. Okay. They're like the more respectable Australians, but also <laughs> there are just people who will like travel the world. Yeah. And just like party everywhere. But it's it, mainly party. Yeah. And British people are mostly polite, right? You just... I'd say they're just grumpy. I'm just grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if we go anywhere, we just try and find more British people. But, like, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like, we usually go to Europe and most oh. European countries like do speak, speak English, speak English. So I never have to. Speak in the English? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Speaking the, speak the English. Speaking the English. Speak the English. What, are, what is Center Park, out of curiosity? I've oh, heard a lot about it, yeah. but I don't know what it is. I've been once. It's pretty much, I was really young when you go. You just go there with your kids and do like... You have kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just go there with your kids and you climb walls and... What is it? I still don't... I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I was like five when I went. I remember like riding a bicycle around the woods and climbing right. Is somewhere. it like a theme park? It's not a theme park. It's kind of just like a holiday place. It's it's not... I don't know really. Is it kind of like that place that is near the, the Soho farmhouse in that area? I just don't know what that is. It's like where the like posh people go on holiday where they, they like glamp. Oh no, it's not posh. Oh, it's not oh Center Parks posh, isn't yeah. posh. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm saying this now, probably people are going to be like, Center Parks is so posh. I don't know. So I went bougie. there when I was like, Bougie, bougie. is so, yeah, so, so bougie. bougie. We love taking our kids to Center Parks. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of little weird places like that where I hear people say and expect it to be like, well known, like, oh, Center Parks, yeah, of course. Yeah. And I'm like, some places I just have to like nod and I'm like, yeah, I cool, feel like yeah, you, you went there. I need to go to Center Parks now to like experience the true British holiday experience. I mean, go ahead. I don't know uh, how much fun you have. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, thank you guys awesome. very much for watching this video. I hope you, you learned something. hope it was interesting. If you did like it, you can give it a big thumb. Check out Noah's channel in the description. And also, we got James. Appreciate you taking out the time to watch the vid. And uh, if you have any other cool experiences from these countries, please leave in the comments. Let's have a nice chat. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. You can watch this video if you want. There's a video I made recently. It's over Noah's face. Sorry. Oh, shit. No, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs>